Well, it was a busy day on the campaign trail for the two candidates in the Senate runoff. Republican Herschel Walker campaigned with Governor Brian Kemp for the first time, while Democratic incumbent Senator Raphael Warnock rallied supporters across Metro Atlanta. News Dash reporter Rob DiRienzo spent time with both candidates. Well, this is the first time that Governor Brian Kemp has campaigned publicly with a Republican Senate candidate, Herschel Walker. They're trying to capture those split ticket voters. About 200,000 Georgians voted for Kemp, but didn't vote for Walker. Give a warm welcome to our next United States Senator, my friend Herschel Walker. Newly re-elected Governor Brian Kemp is hoping his success on November 8th will boost Herschel Walker's chances of success in the runoff on December 6th. You know, after the general election, we were down a little bit, but then in came Herschel Walker. The two haven't been seen on the same stage together up until this point. They appeared outside the world's largest gun store in Smyrna, calling for a shotgun start to a condensed campaign. We don't have many days left. Take advantage of every single one of them. He asked for six more years. Can we put up with that? No, we can't. No, we can't. And meanwhile, here in Sandy Springs, Walker's Democratic challenger, Senator Raphael Warnock, is rallying supporters outside the North Fulton Democratic headquarters before sending them out the door to go canvas on his behalf. He then will go to counties including Forsyth and Gwinnett. Now that we are in this runoff election, it's really about the ground game. It's about showing up. Warnock called out his opponent's stance on abortion and the controversies surrounding those that Walker allegedly paid for. My opponent said no exceptions. <laughs> Did he really mean it? I'm not, sure he, I'm not sure he meant it. Fox 5 asked Warnock how he can pull off a victory on the 6th. He told me his bipartisan record shows that he can appeal to people who aren't necessarily Democrats. I think the voters affirm that. Georgia traditionally has not been a split ticket state. And yet they showed up for me in remarkable ways uh, a couple of Tuesdays ago. And I think the people of Georgia are going to do it again. The task now, reaching those split ticket voters once more. In Cobb and Fulton counties, Rob DiRienzo, Fox 5 News.